ahead. So, Coach, uh, just talk about getting the Big 12, winning the Big 12 opener and in the fashion that we're able to do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't our best performance, to be honest. The crowd was unbelievable, like unhinged. They were so fun. And I think even in our own house, we were a little bit kind of wired for the opener and a little over the top with our emotions and didn't start off that great. But then we settled into a nice rhythm, I felt like, and the crowd really continued to push us forward. It was the best crowd of the year. It was amazing. Um, and then we got the first goal, which really put them on their heels. But then, credit Houston, man, they can move the ball. And they made us chase it quite a bit, and I felt like we turned it over too much and gave them more possessions than we normally have been giving teams because our possession's been better than it was tonight. And so that kept Houston in the game. We continued to turn it over. They continued to move the ball. And uh, we were at half, and we had to tell the team, like, hey, we're ahead. Why are you acting like we're not ahead? And they're like, well, we keep giving the ball. We're like, true, but we're ahead. Don't forget, we're leading. And there's a way to behave when you're leading. And it, it involves the clock, and it involves being ball secured, and it involves being patient. And we weren't any of those things, even with a one-goal lead. So Jill's goal, which was spectacular, um, really changed the game. Because now they had to come out and get after us, and we had the comfort of knowing that we had a two-goal lead. So... I think Jill's game really turned Jill's goal really turned the game for us. The, that that goal it was even farther out than the first one. It looked like uh, just talking about her, but it almost looked like kind of a similar shot in a way. So yeah. just talk about how she seems to love that shot, but also doing it in big moments. Well, you're holding mid. You, you get into the attack in rhythm of of it. It doesn't. You're not leading it. You're not leading the break. You're using it on the counter. And so when the ball recycles, sometimes holding mids can step into that shooting area, and if they're quick enough to prepare it, they can rip it. And both her goals have been terrific first touches and just stepping onto it with her left foot and smashing it. Today she hit it so pure that the ball like dipped and bent and knuckled and did all the things that a goalkeeper hates. So it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good to see her have that confidence to hit it like that. And we're, you know, the team loves Jill. So there's a lot of cheering for that. And Alex, her first multi-goal, or not first multi-goal game, but first goal actually in like a few games after scoring so many before. Just talk about getting her back, back on the scoreboard. Well, you know, when you're a goal scoring forward, you're going to score throughout the year, but you're not going to score every game. And she's a goal scoring forward and got herself in positions to, to do it. And as we talked about after the game, accepted that responsibility. You know, she could have passed off that last one, but she's like, no, I got you. You know, I'm a fifth year senior. I've done this in two conferences now. I'm good. And uh, Alex just took it upon herself to put the game away for us. It was magic. And her, her header off the crossbar would have been a hat trick. So, I mean, Alex had a spectacular night. She has really made a difference for us up front. And uh, even though Ashley didn't score, Ashley's holding the ball well for us. She's setting people up. You know, the, the team wouldn't be here without Ashley. So right now, when she got shut up, you know, we're proud that Alex got, got the two to put us through. How big is it winning your Big 12 opener going into Texas and Baylor next week? I mean, I think it's massive because, you know, if you trip up in that first game, now you're chasing points. And you really don't want to go on a road trip to Austin and Waco chasing. You, go, you want to go with three in the bag because that's all we've played so far and give yourself the best chance to get more points. I mean, the league is such a different animal because it's three and one and zero, right? And so it's fun in that way, but it's also a thing that you have to navigate. And there's times when you'll settle for one, and there's times when you feel like you've got to have three. And tonight we felt like we had to have three. Could not play conservatively, did not, couldn't even stand the thought of a tie. So fortunately for us, you know, we put them away in the second half. Can you talk about how your defense played, holding them just to eight shots on goal? Yeah, that may be the most shots we've given up. Uh, all season, but you know, none of them were at a threatening place. Actually, there were a couple in close, but they just miss hit them. But yeah, the defense was, stood strong. I think we we're good shot blocking. We did a good job forcing them wide to take bad shots. Even when they were taking shots, we were harassing them and pressing them. So Matty White didn't have to cover the whole goal. And that's part of good defending is if someone's going to get a shot on you, make them take a bad one. Matty, uh, Matty White extending her record on shutouts. I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you about that. So just. What has she continued to mean for this team? And what was it like on Sunday, uh, just getting to celebrate that record, but then also in front of the home fans today? Yeah, two different emotions, right? Sunday, it's 100 degrees by 9 a.m. And so I think we were ready to get out of there. And I don't even think she remembered until we brought it up right after the game. And then she got excited. The team celebrated with her. But to celebrate in front of all of our fans tonight, that's the way to do it. We appreciate, you know, that, that presentation. That was really well done. And the team loves Maddie. She's been there for us. She's got a great story, and there's a lot of chapters left for her. Do you think maybe a night like tonight speaks to the maturity of your group and resolve? You know, 
you'll only get one in the first half and then you're able to keep your foot on the pedal and get two more and put a really good team away. Yeah, I don't know if you can call a team young but mature, but we definitely showed some maturity because we could have gotten down having to chase as much as we did. We could have gotten after each other, which we did not at halftime. Everything was really positive. There was a lot of ways we could have gone in the wrong direction, but we, the, the team stayed together, kept each other up. And again, you know, they trust that like Jill had a moment, Alex had a moment, Ashley had a moment, Macy Blackburn had a lot of moments, Sam had some moments. And they just know that at any given moment, somebody's capable of carrying, you know, carrying the weight of scoring the goals for us. So that's a pretty good feeling. And I think we have confidence that that's going to happen for us, even on a bad day. Um, so that's a that's a nice trait to have right now. We're you know one and zero in the league, and that's our seventh win. So so much more ahead of us. We are not even thinking that we're anywhere except right where we are, which is one game into Big Twelve with lots to do. First game, first Big Twelve game for Macy Blackburn in a couple of years. First Big Twelve game ever for Sam Corbett. Oh, Just yeah. talked about both of them and what. Look, those Macy's two. Yeah, they're like two point guards out there. They create for each other. They no look pass. They are having so much fun that when I move one of them to the other side of the field, it doesn't take long for them to get back over there together because they're just having a blast. And to be honest, you know, G and Kyler are doing the same thing on the other side, just a little bit different way, but they're a blast to watch and they're lethal when they get cooking. Um, Macy was really unstoppable at times tonight. And, uh, you know, Sam is one of the best freshmen in the country. So it's not, she's not just a big 12, you know, top player. She's nationwide. People recognize how good Sam is and we're thankful she's on the red and black team. You guys have kind of a unique situation this weekend, no Sunday match before you go into a really big matchup against the UTT that hasn't conceded in like six or seven matches. Mm. Just kind of take us through what the next couple of days will look like and the decision to maybe not have another tune-up match on Sunday against you know, somebody else. Yeah, no reason heading into the Big 12 you know, season, no reason not to get healthy if we need it, no reason not to let bodies regen and get going. Um, but, you know, the ultimate recovery is game day, recovery, day off. So we, that's what you want, uh, which you never get in college, but now we'll get it. Game day, recovery day, day off, and we'll be back at it on Sunday. And, you know, we leave town Wednesday to head to uh, Central Texas. Anything else for Tom before we bring on the players? Tom, congratulations. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. We talked about um, getting two goals and scoring a goal in a few games. I mean, you don't, you're not going to score a goal every game, but yeah. how was to get it to open up it? Yeah, it was awesome to get first two goals in Big 12 play. I know we all knew it was going to be a hard game, the hardest one we've had yet. And so I think we all just played hard. And yeah, that's cool. And then Maddie, extending, extending the shutout record, uh, haven't gotten to talk to you since then. So just talk about, I guess, also celebrating the Sunday, but also celebrating the day, getting a couple. You know, I mean, shutouts are great. I mean, I'm happy that we broke the record. It's honestly my record, but it took everyone, all the defenders and defense, defensive lines that I've played with the past four and five years. Like, I can't do it without them. But we love shutouts. It's great. It's good for our RPI. So just going into next week, we're just really excited and playing the competition. And, and Coach talked about it after the first half. Y'all were up a goal, but maybe kind of won a few opportunities back. So yeah. what made you guys able to come out in the second half? Jill scored that great goal. And then yeah, I don't think we're ever satisfied. We always want to get the next goal. We always are just pushing to be more aggressive and just get that next one. So I think that once we got Jill's goal, we were just kept pushing and yeah, got the last third one. And for both of y'all, what was the atmosphere like in terms of being your big 12 opener, but also, I mean, that was rocking out there. So mm -hmm. what was that like as a player? I mean, it's awesome, especially when you have so many people, especially Lubbock as a whole, is so supportive of tech athletics and soccer too. But I mean, I don't even know how many people we had out there, but it was loud. And it's hard for you to play in that atmosphere when you're the other team. So, I mean, it helps us play, in my opinion. We have people that we hear that, and we want to play well for them because they're here and they're supporting us and we love that. And I think, I mean, it's just great. So thankful that everyone came out. Just really grateful for all our fans. Yeah, it was just such an exciting atmosphere, and so I think we're just really grateful that they were able to come out and support us. It lifts up, lifts us up on the field, and we just want to play and give them a good show. What are some things that y'all are taking from this win to take to play Texas and Baylor? Whether it's good or bad or something you need to correct or something you want to take from this game to into next week? You know, I think even though we won 3-0, I mean, we won 3-0, but at the end of the day, I don't think we're satisfied. I think that that was not our best game of the season by any means, and we probably could have put a couple more on them if we wanted to. And we gave them a lot of, not a lot of chances, but too many chances. They shouldn't have had any, but I mean, we're excited. Still got work to do.
Yeah, I mean, one thing we talked about was just keeping the ball and possessing the ball. We weren't really uh, winning the balls and keeping possession. So I think that going into next Thursday, we're just going to try to keep the ball more and go, go back to like our style of playing. Alex, can you talk on the assist from Kylie Bear? On yeah, I mean, I, every time I see her streaking down the line, I'm like, get in the box, get in the box, it's going in there. And she played a great ball. I saw that it kind of went right behind the defenders. And so I was just like, get into the right spot. And it was perfectly placed, just a little tap in. What do you think maybe it says about this group that you guys are able to find so many different ways to grind out games and find results? Obviously, you grind out one Sunday in Arizona when it was 100 degrees and then come back tonight and maybe rebound when the game isn't going maybe the way you all want it. Um, I think as long as I've been at Tech, I've been on a lot of great teams, but I don't know how many teams I've been on that have been able to win 3-0 and not play well. Not that we didn't play well, but that was not our best game. And you're on a team that's still manhandling another team and is not playing their best, I think that's really special. Especially when we do play our best and we're beating teams as we have before. I mean, it's great, it's yeah. really great. I mean, we just make the most of our opportunities and our defense is shutting down every opportunity that they have on their end. So I think it just shows on both sides that we're relentless and we're just gonna keep pushing. Does that, does that give you all some confidence going into a top 25 team in Texas and then another good team in Baylor as well? Absolutely. I mean, we our defense has been on lockdown, but even though our offense is finishing, finishing all their chances. So even though we had some that were left on the table, we're still finishing. And sometimes that's only one goal that you need. So I think we're feeling really good and really confident going into this next weekend. Anything else for the two ladies? All right, ladies, thank you very much. Yeah.